fire. Hello everybody, this is CJ Wiley with more Adventures on the Road. I remember uh, a lot about Atlanta, Georgia being one of my uh, training grounds when I was young. And the first time I went there, I'd just been uh, on the road with Omaha John, and we'd been going through uh, South Carolina. I've told the story about Charlotte and uh, when we beat the guy in Bishopsville, when we went outside and it was raining and we didn't know if the car was going to start. And anyway, after that, we we pumped up to, uh, you know, about 10 or 12,000 a piece. So uh, Omaha John went home for a while and I went to Atlanta to visit a friend of mine who was also was uh, the name of John who went to Georgia Tech. He was one of my best friends in high school. We used to play tennis tournaments all around the Midwest together. And uh, of course I played pool too. We had a few adventures on the road uh, that were pretty funny. But anyway, when I went to uh, Atlanta, I was burned out on pool. I was like 140 pounds, which when I was playing my best pool, I was like 180. So I was like 40 pounds down. All I'd been doing was playing pool. I mean, just eat it, drink it, think it, everything. And, you know, that's kind of what you got to do, especially in your early development, to reach the highest levels. And uh, and I did, you know, worked through a lot of pain to get where I was. And, but at the time, you know, it's that passion will, will override pain. So when I went to uh, Atlanta, I decided to quit playing pool for about a month. I didn't play at all, and I just played tennis with my friend and uh, and just kind of took it easy <clears throat> and did some partying, of course, and some girls. I think I got a new girlfriend somewhere in the process. But uh, when I finally decided to go start playing pool again, I went up to this little bar in Marietta, Georgia, and, uh, you know, kind of ask around. I hadn't been playing any pool, and uh, but I still had, you know, I had a lot of money. I probably had 5000 on me, so finally, uh, you know, I, I beat a few of the locals, and they got this guy, Randy Randalls was his name, and uh, he was, uh, you know, pretty good playing shortstop around there, and uh, but of course, you know, wasn't supposed to be able to beat me. So I got to playing him, and we're playing for like 50 a game, and then, you know, I'm stalling around, and 100 a game, and so now I've got him in position to really take the whole room off. You know, I'm betting on the side, and we go to 200 a game, but the problem was I couldn't come out of the stall. <laughs> you know, that's one of the dangers of, of stalling, which means playing under, you know, your skill level so that you can, uh, you know, entice people to maybe bet more. When you're a pool hustler, it's uh, essential to be able to do that really well. But there are times where you can't come out of it, and that was one of those times. Well, this Randy Randalls proceeds to dance around the table and beat me out of like 1,700. <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh, my God. I was riding home, and I was just so angry at myself. I'm like, how did you do that, you know? And then about halfway home, it hit me man, this is the perfect lemon, you know, or, uh, you know, basically I put a show on for him. I didn't do it on purpose, but losing that money, I knew everybody would find out about it. And now I would be able to get into a lot of action and action. I did get into, there was a lot of good players around uh, Atlanta and, uh, I just proceeded to play all of them and guys like Eugene Browning and, uh, Robert Turner and some of those guys were like giving me the seven ball and uh, I got all kinds of action. There was a steak horse there, Mean Dean, that was backing everybody. And Mean Dean, you know, he had quite the reputation of being uh, kind of a gangster. And the little kids used to tell Mean Dean stories around the campfires, carry each other <laughs> like the boogeyman. And I ended up beating that Mean Dean out of quite a bit of money and uh, I'm still probably lucky uh, something bad didn't happen to me, but he always kind of liked me, even though he, it was kind of a love-hate relationship. He respected me, you know, because I did beat everybody on the square. It's just that they didn't realize that I had uh, unintentionally laid down that lemon. If you want to know more about uh, my adventures on the road, uh, join me at my private membership site, www.masteringpocketbilliards.com, where I show all the techniques, systems, and fundamentals I used and learned from playing the top road players and uh, mentors, you know, that, that I had, and also playing on the professional tour for a number of years, playing the likes of Efren Reyes, Earl Strickland, Francisco Bustamante, 
Johnny Archer, Rodney Morris, and the list goes on and on. Anyway, if you want to learn uh, what I learned on the road, uh, join me, MasteringPocketBillers.com. And uh, until next time, this is CJ Wiley, over and out.